Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here with another random buy. So sit back, grab yourself a food token, and check out what I got. So this one is from the Goodwill of Orange County. Uh, you can see that the bidding went quite high on this. And the reason why is it's a pretty nice batch of older cards. You've got in here, mm, hopefully a collection, not just random bulk, even though it's good bulk from older sets, like Unlimited and The Dark and Legends, and even some Arabian Nights. Um, what, what appears to be shown here is mainly commons um, that may have just been sorted and put away. Who knows when they were last picked? Because you can see that there are a few um, currently valuable cards poking out of here. Um, this little stack of Arabian Nights, there's a couple camels, but this one right here is a Repentant Blacksmith, which is a rare. So very cool to see rare Arabian Nights. Bird Maidens uh, are common, Channel is an uncommon from Unlimited, but it's great to have. Um, Dark Wizard is a, I'm sorry, Apprentice Wizard from The Dark is a rare. It's not the best rare, it maybe is a couple bucks. What else is in this stack? Is it one rare and then a bunch of homelands behind it? Who knows? Um, and then some Fallen Empires, so we are really gambling here. This is the epitome of gambling. This is not investing like some people like to say this is. It is not, I assure you. There's a zero casting cost um, artifact. Woo, the excitement. It's actually just a Delif's Cone, which is nothing. So we're really hoping that hidden among the, these things are some more interesting things. Um, Verder and Enchantress from Revised is a rare. Not the biggest one. Uh, this Archer is also a rare, I believe. Um, and a lot of walls, so what's the mix here? Um, let's go back real quick and just talk about this card right here is a Telekinesis from Legends. Now, up until about 2017, this card was not worth a whole lot. It is a rare, but it, re it, it spiked in just the last couple years. Currently sitting about 40, 45 bucks or so. Um, before 2017 it was a lot lower and before that it was even lower so what I'm expecting this to be is something that was considered bulk long ago and hopefully in here is a lot of stuff that was bulk at one time and has since skyrocketed uh, I'm not super hopeful that there are really great unlimited cards that there could possibly be but I'm, I'm I would like that so we will see anyway that's what's going on with this and let's open the box. So this box is pretty tall. It doesn't fit under my camera setup, so I'm just gonna show you the label. It came from Santa Ana, California, from the Goodwill of Orange County, apparently. So here it is. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So the listing said it was about 14 pounds of cards. The box says it weighs about 18 pounds. So not sure what the extra is. I guess just a lot of extra packing. Well, there's some card sleeves. Oops, can't see them. There's card sleeves that just look empty. So it looks like they have bundled these into paper footballs. So that's interesting. So. All right, I'm going to start taking these out and going through them. Uh, this looks like new sleeves. Cool. Well, we will actually probably use those for any good cards that we find. So I wonder how old this box is. 2018, so that's interesting that uh, something this new was included in here. Maybe Goodwill just threw it in. It, was it part of this collection? Who knows? I imagine that this collection had been picked relatively recently and probably anything really good has gone out of there. But we're hopeful. So let's take a look and see what we get. So not even a topper on this one. And she, well, there's the telekinesis. So that's, let's get started here. 
Okay, as usual, anything under 90 cents will not be added to the list, but in the case of anything on like from Unlimited or Legends or The Dark, even if it's under 90 cents, I'm gonna pull it aside and count it as a win. It just won't go into my total at the end. So let's see if we can beat about 22.33 is what I paid with the shipping. My accountant has told me that it's time to stop and she might be right this time. So without further ado, let's check out what's behind this telekinesis, a field of dreams. Okay, here we go, scanning time. Telekinesis from Legends, 42 bucks. Field of Dreams. Unbelievable. 131 bucks. And there's two. I'm now feeling good about this. Um, great, 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 great. A cleanse. It's a rare. It's 27 bucks. Wow, well, uh, that's a load off my mind to see this already. Reverberation, another rare, 14 bucks. Angelic Voices, a rare, 14.99. Psychic Purge, I don't think is a rare. Yeah, that's a common, but at a buck 88, it makes our buck pile right there. Lesser Werewolf, got a couple of those. Not bad for an uncommon at all. <clears throat> and there's a few of those so this is great I really hope this adds up and it makes it worth my gamble <laughs> bloodlust 1232 for an uncommon that's fantastic well it looks like I'm gonna run out of room here disharmony 26 we are getting there people Another disharmony. Um, so far, so I'd probably have to look up Field of Dreams and see what, how much was that back before like 2017. I think if we might be able to pinpoint maybe the last time this was picked based on what's left here. If there's something really, really, really amazing, we can probably figure it's never been picked. Evil Eye of Orms by Gore. Three bucks. I can't even say that. Ichnumon Druid. Uncommon. Couple bucks there. Spiritual Sanctuary. It's a rare. I am so thrilled to see all these rares. Demonic Torment. Oh, another Telekinesis. Uncommon. Three bucks. A Life Matrix. Oh, I'm going to have to like be careful. So, here's the thing. So far, these are all in really good condition for what they are. Um, I'd say a couple little nicks and dings on most of these. Light plate and near mint. You see it? Life Matrix 1975. Whew, I'm breathing a sigh of relief right now. Telekinesis. Another 40 some dollar card. Well, I guess. We're just going to do it like this. Feel the dreams. It's awesome. Wrathy Berserker. I don't know if I've seen this card. It's an uncommon. A couple of those. Let's see here. One, two, three. There's a Gabriel Angel Fire. Just add two of those. I think we're doing okay. 1249. Storm World. Wow, look at that craw giant. Storm World, $45.99. These are mostly rares. This is amazing. Craw Giant. Infinite Authority, another rare. Craw Giant's uncommon. Infinite Authority, wow. 15 bucks. Cosmic Horror. Oh, great. $13.99 for the Cosmic Horror. Gauntlets of Chaos. Alright, still a rare. The Lady of the Mountain. So here's some of the actual on the actual legends. Sir Chandler of Eberin. 226. This is uh, this is turning out really good. Riven Turnbull. So this Ramirez de Pietro has got a little play to it. Uncommon. Alright, I'm gonna have to stack these. 
Jacques Levert. It's a rare 17. Princess Lucrezia. 21. I gotta tell you, this is giving me a lot of hope for that unlimited section already. 343 uncommon, Jedit. 339. Aisha Tanaka. 1157. It's a rare. And again, these all I'm thinking are rares that would probably not have been really expensive way back then, but they're they're getting there now. 32 bucks for the half dane. Erdrago. 12.95, fantastic. Torsten von Ursus, wow. I love all these old legends. Livonia Salone, wow, this is great. 17. Lady Evangela, 37. Rare, 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 these are fantastic. Kai Takahashi, 10.95. A Jedit Ojanin. Bing. I think it was going to probably go here. I'm not sure. Ivory Guardians. Uncommon. There's two, three, four, five, six of those. Uh, Keepers of the Faith, I think, is a common. Yeah, so this one doesn't actually make the list. It's the first card that wasn't over a dollar. Or 90 cents, actually. But it's still a Legends Common. I will be definitely keeping those. Rasputin Dreamweaver. Oh my gosh, 119 bucks for Rasputin. Seven counters on Rasputin. When brought into play, you may remove a counter to prevent one damage to Rasputin or add one to your mana pool. This ability is played as an interrupt. Wow. Okay. That's great. We'll take it. I wonder again, how much was that card before 2017? How much was it before 2010, right? So I'm gonna have to probably look that kind of stuff up later. There's a bunch of ladies in the legends. So that one I think went into this pile. Lady Calaria. That's a good rare, 17 bucks. Barktooth Warbeard. Check out this guy. He's devious and cunning in both appearance and deed. But wear the Warbeard for this brute bites as well as he barks. Why didn't they make that rhyme? Come on. It's like perfect little poem. Deed. Some rhymes with deed, right? Come on. Uncommon. One, two, three, four of those. Boris Devil Boon. You can put a token into play. That sounds like he might be pretty decent. Yeah. 16 bucks. That's a rare one, two, three of those. Ghost of Dirk. It's a good rare. And another Boris Devil Boon. But being. Uh, Bartel Runax, another rare, 18 bucks. Axelrod Gunnarsson, I think I pulled that one out of the pack that I opened for my um, 5,000 subscribers special. Um, so now I got, I got a duplicate, I got half a playset. <laughs> uh, Angus McKenzie, I think this is the guy that uh, gets asked to be made some deck tech out of on one of those channels and boy is he worth a lot 223 bucks for angus mckenzie he's bant and you can tap bant 
creatures attack and block as normal, but none deal any damage during combat. All attacking creatures are still tapped. Use this ability anytime before attack damage is dealt. Wow, so it's just a fog on a stick. That is fantastic. Angus McKenzie, my man, right there. I like it. Uh, Ragnar is also a bant. And he's pretty good too, 28 bucks, wow. Rubinia Soul Singer, uh, 18 bucks, not bad. She's been reprinted a few times. Rasputin Dreamweaver. But Bing, he was like a hundred bucks, right? Winds of Change. It's an uncommon, so it's a good uh, um, money uncommon there. 18 bucks. Horn of Deafening and Ring of Immortals. So we are into the rare um, artifacts. Um, so that's not a bad gig right there. Ring of Immortals, 22 bucks. Um, two of those. Sentinel. It's a rare. $7.99. Two of those. Voodoo Doll, five bucks, again a rare. All like, probably what would have been essentially bulk rares for a really long time. Um, so definitely that is kind of what I expected. Um, hoping to see some more stuff that trends bigger like that. Wood Elemental. Willow Sater is a good card. Yeah, Wood Elemental is a rare. 1390. Wolverine Pack. 22 cents. I know Willow Sater is pretty good for a rare. Yeah, 40 some bucks there. I absolutely cannot believe how good this turned out already just on the first box. Um, almost broken even. I could not have asked for a better first box. I am really, really, really hopeful that there will be more of the same in the next boxes. Um, but it's really clear that, what it, at least for this box, this is all stuff that was probably not worth a whole ton way back when and just got forgotten. That's why I look for these kind of lots, so. Okay, next box. I am uh, really excited to get into the rest of this now. It could, it could be all downhill from there, I don't know. But we're gonna find out.
So this Nedling Imp is a revised. I don't think any of those Plague Rats were. Um, you can see how, okay, look, here's the difference. So this is a revised. The N is kicked over into like the middle of the border. The unlimited N is kicked over to the left. So you can see the difference there. And typically like the unlimited ones are a little darker and the wording is a little more gray. So a revised, well, it's not an alpha. That would be nice. So the revised edition is 40 cents. Right? But the unlimited version is 342. So we've got one revised. We'll throw it there. One, two, three, four unlimited netling amps. It's dark ritual. This is a good one to have in unlimited, right? So revised common 52 cents. The unlimited version 995 for an unlimited dark ritual. Great. That's a rare, 15 bucks right there. Lifeblood. It's a rare, 15 bucks. Again, that probably was something that was not worth anything for a long time. Next box. More legends. These plastic boxes have been around for a long time, I think. This one's stuffed. Like there's cards on top of cards on this one. Oh, my computer almost ran out of memory, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff. Now I'm ready to start going through this, which is looking pretty exciting. Yep, uh, Arabian Nights stuff, which I do not find too very often at all, and definitely not in this kind of condition. Looking pretty nice. Yeah. All right, here we go. Naf's Asp, I imagine, is a common. But uh, at 363, that's a pretty good common, so we'll put it here. Um, here we go. A Cyclone is a rare. Well, according to that Renaissance version. Arabian Nights, uh, it's actually an uncommon 1384. Very solid. I think uh, Arabian Nights are not technically rares. There's actually like U, 1s, 2s, and 3s. Feel free to correct me down below. Sandstorm, that's a $5.32 common. One, two, three of those. Great. Two, three. Metamorphosis. Wow. Another common, 297. A couple of the, ah, an oubliette. So this is about the best common I think you can get. And wow, one, two, three, four, five of those. Fantastic. See, at a certain point, these would have been pickable. Um, but uh, when they were left behind, they were just, they didn't really care, I don't think, to pull them out. So. Oubliette version 2, 3971. So let's see, what's the difference between version 1 and version 2? I'm not sure. Um, let's see, version 1. Does it have different art? You might have to let me know down below. The, the scanner thinks it's version 2. Um, I'll have to look up and see what the difference is. So there's a playset of Oubliettes. We assume version 2. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, actually, there was five of them, right? Don't want to forget that. Hazron Ogris. 226, right? One, two, three of those. Ur Graders. 
common. It's like, that's good. Kuambaj witches. Seven bucks. Put it in the that um, pile. Hasran ogres. Couple bucks there. Stone throwing devils. Common. Eleven bucks. Great. Couple more Kuambaj. One. Two. Three. Oh yeah, it's taken off now. Boy, I uh, would like to see a lot of Arabian Nights, but it's it's rare. I don't know what kind of rares they would leave behind here. One, two, three, four, five Erg Raiders. That definitely adds up. And no, I don't know what piles what at this point. Her Jackal, and then Legends again. Common, couple bucks to three of those. Uh, Curd Ape, which has been printed a bunch of times, but the original Arabian Nights printing is 13 bucks. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's almost a hundred bucks in Curd Apes right there. Four, five, six, seven. Amazing. Desert Nomads, four bucks for a common. Bird Maiden. 297 magnetic mountain I think might be a rare that's I guess an uncommon right um, sure another Kurt ape another jackal which was what here brass man 15 wow one two of those ebony horse 2098, so the scanner says that's a rare. And I, I would figure as a rare Arabian Nights, that's gotta be one of the lower end ones, right? But there it is, War Elephant, common. One, two, three, four, five. Piety, common again. One, two, three, four, five of those, okay. Whew, that's quite a little stack there. These are all good commons, man, and they're in really good condition, too. A little bit of nicks and scuffs here and there. Island Fish Jesconius, another probably totally forgettable rare at the time. And then a repentant blacksmith from Arabian Nights. Um, not the Chronicles. It's actually quite a bit better than that. 25 bucks, so that's a rare. Nine bucks for an energy flux. Wow, really? That's pretty cool. Drafna's restoration, which up until just recently was not a whole lot, had a buyout attempt on it. So, thirteen ninety-eight. So it had spiked, and there was some controversy over. Um, attempted buyouts on that. Oh, power artifact. Well, that sounds like a good one. Let's take a look at that. 128 bucks for an uncommon. Yes. One, two, three of those. Yes, please. That's what I was hoping for. One, two, three of those. Great. That's great. That's great. Here's more Drafna's Restorations. One, two. Oh, I think I see another good one coming up. Yes, Transmute Artifacts. That is awesome. All right, so three more Drafna's. <sighs> Loving this. Transmute Artifact and Power Artifact are both uncommons, but I think they're both on the reserve list. And it shows in the price 156 bucks for transmute artifacts one two three four five six of those yeah 
Look at the variation in the ink on that one. This one here. Six, four, five, six. That is a score, people. Go Ashnod's Altar Antiquity Uncommon 1699. One, two of those. Um, sure. Ornithopters, probably maybe. Yeah, that's a little better. 384. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. And some might stones. Great. Might stones should be pretty good. Yeah, six bucks. Okay, one, two, three of those. Shatterstorm. 24 bucks. It's a rare. Fantastic. In almost mint condition. What's almost mint? It's near mint. That's great. Here's all a bunch of Urza's lands, and they are all in great shape. There are tons of them. That's amazing. I uh, I run into tons of Chronicles, and they're cool. <laughs> but they're not this cool. Unbelievable. There's a ton. So this, it, it, clearly, when this was last picked through for anything that was good, these would have not been worth a whole lot and they just ignored them. So here they are. I think I might uh, kind of separate them by, uh, by the art because that's how they get scanned in. So let's, let's do this here. The Antiquities Tower version is 768 with the pulley and the mouth and the sphere and the rock, the sphere. The columns are 21 bucks each. There's four of them. The bug. 18 for the planes tower. One, two, three, four of those. Jeez. 18 for the forest. This one's the shore. Oh man. Four of those. And the mountains. Three of those. Oh boy. Not too shabby, people. Tablet, I think it was nothing. Shapeshifter, huh? 1052, it's a rare. Gate to Phyrexia, that's a reserve list card. And it should be worth a little bit. Yep, 39. This is just adding up like crazy. Another three haunting winds. Ooh, yes, two more Gates of Phyrexias. One, two, amazing. And an unlimited clone. Ten bucks for a couple of those. Can't 
Carrying ass from fourth edition. So, oh, oh, hold on. I see something good. Um, carrying ants, I don't think they were rare. That actually, I have not put a single thing into what I normally do a pile over here of commons or uncommons that are just not interesting. That would go there. Disrupting Scepter, and then a Lord of the Pit from Unlimited. Fifty-four ninety-seven, and it's in pretty good condition. Definitely like a little bit of nicks on there, and little, little lines on the front a little bit. So, SP hard grader might call it MP, but I call it happy to have it. Magical hack. Nope, that one's unlimited. Yeah, 1875. Why are we frozen? Disrupting Scepter. Unlimited. But being. Wow! 6899. Yes, I was hoping to see some better stuff. As said, Stroll counts. Look how white the border is and how kind of darkish the reds are. Um, this one as a revised edition had even spiked, but the unlimited version was probably a little bit better. $31.99. Singer Vampire. 20 bucks each. Big difference. You can see, look, look at the difference in the, like the ink and color. The revised on the right is just faded. Um, the unlimited has just got like a, a more like a warm feel to the to the coloring. So Black Knight Unlimited, 1899. There's two of these. Yep, Unlimited Nether Shadow, 17 bucks. Zombie Master as an unlimited rare, 33 bucks. We are really, really getting somewhere here. Okay, revised Goblin King, 315. Unlimited Goblin King, quite a bit more, 53.97. Wow. Okay, Clockwork Beast, another rare, amazing, 19 bucks. Sleight of Mind different one it's not a fourth edition it is unlimited $22 $14.99 each wow reverse damage and righteousness so these are all definitely like kind of lesser rares um, but they're still just from having that difference on it makes it worth a bit more. Um, that's an unlimited righteousness. Blessing and a farmstead. Here we go again. Next box. Uh, yeah, so far I'm really happy with my purchase. I can't complain. Um, I would like to see more of the same. But it looks like we're going to get into some Fallen Empires here. So this will be... Probably quite a bit different than the last batch of cards that I went through. So, here we go.
one Elvis Farmer out of the whole bunch. Three bucks. The best card in Fallen Empire. So there's that. These are going to go straight to the bulk box to stay out of the way. Uh, okay, cool. Granite Gargoyle. 283 from Revised from Unlimited. 29, 23. That's great. Unlimited Lightning Bolt. It is going to be more than Revised, I'm guessing. By quite a bit. It's 20 bucks. So Mana Bars is a rare. And the unlimited version is 20 bucks. Smoke, 23 bucks. Wow. Dingus egg. The unlimited version, 17.99. Ank of Mishra, and look at that basalt monolith too. 52 bucks for the Ank. It's unlimited basalt monolith, 15 bucks. Look at the color though, just like super deep browns in that. The Helm of Chatzuk, 9.96. Jade monolith, 12. Cormus Bell, which would have been a pretty big deal back in when this was like in standard when this basically first came out but glyph of doom darkness that's a good common from legends yeah 750 one two three four five of those great fallen angel 1015 we'll put it that i think we got two medusas typhoon it's a rare, 16 bucks. Arborea. As an uncommon, 976, one, two, three, four, five of those. Great. Much Whirling Dervish. Nice, 981 for an uncommon, three of those. Storm Seeker, uncommon. Winter Blast, I think, is a rare. It is 13 bucks. I'm surprised from seeing so much unlimited that there hasn't been any beta. Um. Not that I'm complaining, but it's just kind of, I feel like all this stuff is in that time frame. Just the fact that there's none, it's kind of odd. Warp Artifact. And the Unlimited version, $14.99, wow. More Unlimited Dark Rituals, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those, wow. So another 70 bucks in Dark Rituals. Four. This is nuts, we're over seven grand, unbelievable. Stan Sandstorm, which was seven, eight bucks, something like that. Repentant Blacksmith. Uh, not that one. Arabian Nights, 25. Moving Artifact, that should be a rare, I think. Yeah, Revised Edition is like nothing. Unlimited, 980.
definitely like bulk <laughs> but extremely pickable good bulk right okay here we go apprentice wizard from the dark that is rare right so let's see what we got we haven't found oh fallen empires again oh no apprentice wizard a couple of those what is all that let's see here 398 a couple of those felwar stone is pretty good 961 goblin caves hey a stone calendar I think is a reserve list card that is, um, yeah, costs more than it probably should. 1268. Eater of the Dead. Nothing big there either. Wow, I was wrong. Nine bucks. Hmm, more Arabian Nights. Now we're talking. Another blacksmith. So there's the Verderin Enchantress from uh, Revise that we had seen. And so it's a couple bucks. The unlimited version would have been 43. So hopefully there's one of those in there somewhere. Dark Pact. Unlimited Dark Pact. Yeah, 17 bucks. Elvish Archers, I believe, is a rare. From Revised, it's a couple bucks. Hey, there we go. So there's the unlimited Verderin Enchantress that I, we, I was hoping for. We, I, us. Not 4th edition. Unlimited, 4311. Very cool. So Regrowth, 15. Repentant Blacksmith, again. Bing, it was like 25 bucks. Farmstead, it's 12 bucks. It's an unlimited white knight. Comparable to the black knight, probably. 13.99. Camouflage. This is one that was actually showing, I think, in the listing. It's nine bucks. Camels, another blacksmith, and another channel. Amazing. Maybe night. 7,500 we've hit now at this point. So, um, pretty good. That's pretty decent, right? We've, we've hit the actual bulk, I think. Island Sanctuary. Okay. Oh, there are rares here. And again, these are the rares you would leave behind. 1254. Pure Lace. You would definitely leave behind that. Even though it's 10 bucks now. Lance. 20 bucks for an unlimited animate wall. That's great.
10 more unlimited disenchants. 47 bucks. That's pretty good. Swords of Plowshares, unlimited edition. That's great. 35 bucks. So that one gets a place right here. Weakness, no, but Warp Artifact was good. $14.99. Unholy Strength. Can't remember. I don't think so. But I have to check it. Buck 96, yeah. Skate Zombies. I think. I can't remember. So much unlimited commons right now. Howl from Beyond. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna find a different one. There we go. There we go. Death grip. Nope. One, two. Hey, that's a good one. A demonic attorney from Unlimited. 28 bucks. And again, that's one that would probably have been a lot less years and years ago. Twelve bucks for a web, it's a rare. Elvish Archers. Unlimited edition. Twenty-eight oh three. Great. A fungusaur. I think that's actually a rare. Twenty-three. 29 for a Fungusaur. Again, it's a card that probably just would have been left behind long ago. <clears throat> okay, two more boxes left. This one is shaped a little weird. I think it might actually be loose cards without a plastic case protector in it so let's see what we get so this looks like it's almost like a completely different set of cards I don't remember seeing this in the the listing that's maybe what accounts for a little bit of that extra weight compared to what I saw this might just be some like maybe junk bulk from a different collection and well, it's not too shabby actually right there hold on some Odyssey stuff City of Brass from 6th edition that's pretty good Hey, another City of Brass, wow. Form of the Dragon is not so much. A 7th edition City of Brass is actually a little bit more, 10 bucks, wow. Not bad for some random bonus. Wow, Enchantress's Presence, Foil. Whenever you play an enchantment spell, draw a card. Well, that's probably pretty decent. 43 bucks for a foil. Enchantress's presence, amazing. And uh, since it was loose in the bulk there, it's a little bit scuffed up. Actually, not nearly as bad as it could be. Wow, uh, amazing.
<laughs> Another City of Brass? That's crazy. 7th edition, City of Brass. Numero dos right there. Okay, one last box in this batch. It has been quite a batch, I gotta say. Um, I was just amazed. Um, this is more of the plastic box stuff. Um, one more time of unlimited stuff. Let's do it. Where is it? Fallen Empires. <laughs> Ah, that is revised. Whoops. And so is that. And ooh, this is unlimited. So, okay. Here we go. Crystal Rod Ivory Cup. Okay. Bing, I forget. It must go right there. Ivory Cup. It's not beta, which is so weird that I, there's so much unlimited, but not even a single beta was found in here. So I'm just not sure what to make of that. Like, um, whoever this was just, just got into magic during unlimited. They missed all the beta, but usually there was like, like some of that stuff was hanging around. They might've grabbed a pack or traded or something, but there's just nothing. Mana short. Unlimited mana short. Well, that's decent. 25 bucks nonetheless. That's a that's a keeper. Copper tablet. Ah, oh, 14. 15, one, two, three of those, great. Unlimited counter spell. Wow, 50 bucks, amazing. That one gets a sleeve. Troll magic. Quite a bit less than the beta. Drain power. Still very cool. The Rock of Kerr Ridges. A limited edition $34.99. Earthquake. The Unlimited Earthquake. $54. Amazing. Just curious this Earthquake. What's the buy list on that? 40 bucks someone will give you for that and the low sell price 42 so it's not bad not bad at all Earth nine forty eight each great the juggernaut Wow 15 one, two of those.
Their volcanic eruption. Great, it's actually a rare. There we go, pirate ship. It's a rare, 15 bucks. Reconstruction, so these are actually from antiquities. They look like beta, but they're not. Yeah, I think they're just common. 87 cents, so not enough. Oh, Magical Hack, I think, was. Yeah, two of those. Unlimited. 18 a piece. Yep, couple of magical hacks there. We are really, really adding up here. Mana short, this one is revised. Unlimited Timber was 14 bucks. Doing artifacts, a couple more rares here. Regrowth, 15 bucks. Oh, you know what? We hit 9,000 bucks a while ago. <laughs> and we froze, so got that going for us. Yep, Control Magic was good as Unlimited. But being, I think it was one of these actually. Um, this one. Oh, look at this! That is actually something pretty awesome. All right, revised counterspell. Um, and some more unlimited counterspells. But this one has a big crimp on it. Look, that is amazing. So it's actually got some play to it, though. So that actually might um, be my big winner here. I'm not sure. I'm, condition wise, I'm not sure what that's going to do to it. But man, that's pretty rare. I would think. I'll have to double check and see what the various places say. But wow, as a as a uh, crimped unlimited counterspell that looks pretty decent I, I can't even put an estimate on it I'm gonna have to look that up I think it's gonna be quite a bit and here's another unlimited counterspell yeah because a regular unlimited counterspell is 50 bucks let's say 40 um, I, I would say at least double that maybe even quite a bit more so that's an eBay one right there I think Yep, unlimited dark rituals. Two more of these, okay. Nine ninety-five. And oh wow. Can we get some more unlimited earthquakes? No, but we can get unlimited lightning bolts. Very cool. Unlimited lightning bolt. I think we found some of those before. Wow. Twenty bucks times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Unlimited control magic. Well, being, I think that is it. That that was all that was in the box. Oh my God, you guys! It took forever, but can you see the results? All right, so I'll take everything off the list that was under 90 cents, and we'll see how we ended up.
Well, there you have it. 1,191 cards that were over 90 cents. That was quite a pick there. Um, ended up being what was essentially bulk at one time. This is all stuff that at some period in Magic history, I'm thinking after Fallen Empires, um, a lot of this stuff really wasn't worth a whole lot. There were no, there were no, there was no power in here. It, it, clear, someone must have opened a zillion packs of unlimited to get all of that stuff and taken all of the lotuses and mocks, you know, with them at one point. And this is just the stuff that got left behind, well preserved. Um, so it's been sitting around for a long time, and and here it is finally. Um, it tons of uncommons. Um, the few rares that were left had accumulated over the years to be worth a little bit more now. Um, things like transmute artifact must not have been worth a whole lot back in the you know turn of the century, right? Um, so, but they've spiked up in recent years. So here they are. I'm glad to have them now. Unlimited counter spells, and especially one that actually has a very prominent crimp on it. So I'll have to do a little research and see what an estimate on an error card like that is with some play. Um, I think it might end up being one of my better ones here. Angus McKenzie, quite a bit. Um, Field of Dreams, quite a bit. Um, Lord of the Pit, Control Magic, Verdant Enchantress. It's been it's been amazing. I got it. Still, so many good cards that were in the one to two to five dollar range. It all added up. One thing I do want to show off here at the end. This is the market price. Let's set it and see what's a little more realistic for a uh, the buy list price. Um, trade in high cost on TCG player is going to recalculate this up to give it a minute 4725 bucks so I definitely doubled my money um, I think I can do kind of a, a bit better with a lot of this stuff if I threw it on eBay so anyway thanks for watching I have no idea how I'm gonna turn this into a video that um, is gonna be watchable so if you did enjoy watching this, please give me a like. <laughs> and uh, check back for more videos later. Thank you.